Now, new video tonight in a deadly motorcycle accident as authorities ask for your help in solving a crime. A Las Vegas man died this past Wednesday following a hit and run in Centennial Hills at North Durango in the 215. Ryan Matthew joining us tonight from NHP headquarters. Ryan has the very latest. Well, Brian, it's been over two days, and the Tomas family has no answers still. Like, who was the other driver involved in this collision? Why didn't they stop to help? And could that have saved this man's life? While the family waits for those answers from state police, state police asking for the public's help. He took my brother. He was only 27. Only 27. My younger brother. The Tomas family, a member short, son, brother, and father, Tony Tomas, dying after his motorcycle collided with a van. They're not asking, you know, is he alive? And they just looked at me like, just stared at me with blank faces on. His mother, Ginger Patterson, says a stranger pulled over to perform life saving measures. The original driver speeding off. That one minute could have saved his life. The hospital's a minute away. Family remember the 27 year old like this, free on his motorcycle with the Aloha spirit. The solar installer was known by the nickname Hawaii by the local biking community who gathered Thursday night at the scene of the crash to remember him. Seriously, like he was a kind person. He didn't deserve this. His sister, Samantha Tomas, joining her mother at the scene for hours before watching his body be taken away. They say their grieving is twofold. We don't know. We don't know. We don't even know the person if he was drunk. The only video evidence, this suspected white utility van with damages to the back right side last seen here at Elkhorn and Grand Montecito. The family left pleading for justice. Please turn yourself in. I will forgive you. Turn yourself in. I will ask the courts to lower your sentence. Just turn yourself in. Now, they say, if anything, they hope this collision brings awareness to reckless driving on our roads. Now, state police, they're asking anybody with potential information on this or may have seen that white vehicle to contact them via star 647, or you can do so anonymously with the Crime Stoppers hotline number you just saw on your screen. Reporting live outside NHP headquarters, Ryan Matthew, 8 News Now.